Hello, my name is Takeshi Oki, and I'm a gastrointestinal surgeon at the Tokyo Women's Medical University in Tokyo, Japan. Today, I'm talking about the result of our study, Prevention of Esophageal Stricture After Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection Using Tissue Engineered Cell Seeds. Recently, Published in Gastroenterology Journal. The use of esophageal endoscopic submucosal dissection, so called ESD, to remove superficial esophageal neoplasms is gradually becoming more common in Japan. However, this often results in alterations that cause esophageal stricture. I saw how when victims were treated with skin grafts and thought that patients undergoing ESD could be treated with similar technique to prevent constriction that occurs after large-scale ESD. Those patients normally require subsequent multiple balloon dilations to prevent postoperative esophageal stricture. Periodic balloon dilations have also potential risks of esophageal perforation and mediastinitis. So I came up with this technique that used tissue-engineered cell seeds which were transplanted directly onto the isolation sites after ESD. In this study, we investigated the safety and efficacy of this technique in preventing formation of strictures. This was the first clinical study ever of its kind. Oral mucosal tissue was extracted from nine patients with superficial esophageal neoplasms which was used to harvest cell sheets. The size of specimen taken from each patient was about 9 mm in diameter per cell sheet. The whole procedure for each patient starting from the specimen collection to the actual application of the harvested cell sheets took 16 days, which is recommended preparation time of oral mucosal epithelial cell sheets. Harvested cell sheets were then endoscopically applied to ulceration sites immediately after ESD. Patients underwent upper endoscopy every week and were monitored until epithelialization was complete. Completely epithelialization occurred within the median time of 3.5 weeks. Eight out of nine patients fully recovered without dysphagia stricture or any other complications following the procedure. Like cell seed transplantation techniques used for the cornea and heart, esophageal transplantations are sutureless and easy to perform. However, long-term follow-up and experience with a large series of patients are needed to further assess the benefits and the risks of this method. Although our study was focused on Japanese cases of squamous cell carcinomas, the technique used may also be effective in the treatment of Barrett's esophageal neoplasms. As I mentioned before, this was first study of its kind performed on esophagus, and I believe that this technique will be used to treat it as a gastrointestinal organ and ultimately improve patient quality of life.